What's up guys, Isaac here and today I want to talk about how you can develop your posture ultimately improving your body language. I'm getting a lot of requests from a lot of guys asking how can I get more charismatic, more confident body language and I always tell them the same thing, you need to start off with your posture because that's the foundation, right? Once you have the foundation right, once you have a good foundation, you can add different layers and ultimately become the best version of yourself, become the most charismatic version of yourself, right? So why would we want to improve our body language anyway? A little bit of background into this. What you have to understand is when you're having a conversation with someone, when you're talking to a girl, or when you're talking to a group of guys or whoever it may be, what's being conveyed more than your actual speaking, more than your actual language is your body language, your subcommunication, your facial expressions, all these small nuanced things that we don't really think about that usually operate on the subconscious level. And the reason for this is because the part of the brain that's used to interpret language is more recently developed in the part of the brain that picks up on body language and subcommunication. Evidence of this is how long does it take a kid to learn how to speak a language? By the time you're maybe age five, you could probably learn how to speak a language proficiently, right? With some degree of proficiency. However, how long does a kid take a kid to be able to understand an angry facial expression or to understand when someone's sad? It doesn't take long, right? They can pick up on it and no one teaches you these things. It's because it's deeply ingrained in us. So if you can master your body language, you're tapping into something that's deeper than just what you're saying and people will be able to associate you with, associate you with those positive characteristics that you want, the confidence and that demeanor. Okay, so what is good posture? A lot of us have bad posture, right? We're in the office typing like this, shoulders rolling forward, hunching, um, playing video games like this, watching our favorite TV shows like that, right? Like this. Shoulders roll forward, kind of lazy, communicating, weakness, and all these things we don't want to communicate with ourselves. So good posture is, the way you can envision it is, there's a few things you can do. One of the things I like to do is I like to retract my scapula like this. So you pull your shoulders up and then retract them back and you should feel a little bit of a tension in your back. You should feel like a little bit of a tension in your upper back and that means you're doing it right. So that's the first step, retract your scapula like that, get your chest out. And another cue that I use is when I'm talking to someone, right? I envision that there's like a line coming from my chin. If this line that's coming from my chin that's going straight out is not perfectly horizontal or at least close to horizontal, then my body language is poor, which means if the line's pointing down at the person like that, like a laser beam, right? I got bad body language. I'm, it means the shoulders are rolled forward and I'm not in the right stance. Another way you can envision it is you can try imagine that you're like a puppet and there's like a string that's being pulled from your forehead, from your the top of your head, I mean, and it's taut. So how would you behave? You stand upright, right? So that's good posture. It's not that hard to do, but the hard thing is maintaining it because we've been used to the bad posture. We've been used to sitting with bad posture and not being aware of it. So you need to bring some awareness to your life. And the way you can do this, the way you can bring awareness to your posture, now I learned this tip from Scott Herman Fitness, is to use an alarm, right? Use the time on your phone. You're only gonna do this for preliminary stages until it's second nature to you. So every 30 minutes, right, get your phone to ring. Get your phone to ring and check if your posture is right. So if you set your alarm and the phone rings and you realize that your shoulders are rolled forward, you know, your chin's down, your back is hunched, all those things that we said on good body language, good posture, go back to that stance. Remember those cues I told you. And the more you do this, the more awareness you bring into it, it'll be second nature to you. When you're talking to people, you're gonna exude that confidence. Another thing you can do, a lot of people recommend a lot of these stretches and exercises where you go up against the wall and you do all this crazy shit with your shoulders. But what I'll suggest is something a bit more, in my opinion, effective, is strengthening the muscles that are lacking in your back. A lot of guys have overdeveloped muscles in the front. They like to do the chest, they like to do biceps, they like to do, you know, pushing motions in the gym, they like to do things like that. But not too many people develop their back muscles. You need to develop your posterior chain, develop your red delts, your upper back, your rhomboids, your lower back, all that stuff. Because those are the muscles that are gonna support you, right? They're gonna pull you back like that. And the best way you can develop those, the best exercise I recommend, if you had to choose one, the biggest bang for your buck is gonna be deadlifts. The deadlifts are gonna teach you how to maintain that correct posture because when you're doing deadlifts, you have that correct posture, you have that neutral spine, and you're actually working throughout the movement with that good posture, right? So if you can deadlift, you know, build your deadlift up to 300 pounds, 400 pounds, 500 pounds if you're crazy, 
you're gonna have no problem maintaining good, good body language, good posture. So those are my tips for you guys. Take this shit seriously. It's easy as a basic, but it's the difference between having confident Superman body language or, you know, weak, meek, smeagol body language. So it's up to you. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace.